Okay, how are you going? So, <laughs> what's this? This is the clunker. I went and bought myself a car, an Olympus E500. Now, <laughs> these cameras are from around 2006, so I haven't had a DSLR for a while. In fact, I've only ever shot uh, film SLRs, so it's the same concept. It's just uh, I want to try out the CCD. So the CCD cameras, Gary, this way, the CCD sensors, uh, everyone raves on about them to say that they're like, you know, film-like, and now with the price of film, you know, going through the roof, and cameras, the whole digi, you know, digicam sensations come along, so I thought I'd, you know, try the CCD, which are mainly in digicams, but Olympus have um, a DSLR with the CCD in it, so I thought that would be a little bit better than, you know, playing around with an old, you know, crappy digi cam from, from the early 2000s. Jerry! <laughs> okay. Sorry about the cicadas, it's just so loud. <laughs> it's a bloody cicada season and they're just really, really chirping away like you wouldn't believe. And Jerry's been tugging on my lead all bloody morning because her arch enemy, the swamp hen, this is where, this is swamp hen territory around here and Jerry loves it. But basically it's just testing out this CCD um, sensor. From, from the early 2000s uh, and the camera as well. I mean, it's a beauty. It's so slow. <laughs> and I've only got a 250, only got a 128 megabyte card. So I got nine uh, raw images. <laughs> it takes uh, CF Express or whatever. Not CF Express, whatever the old one were, the big ones. And, and it only shoots nine. And the buffer is so funny, it takes three shots and then takes about a minute to clear the buffer from the nine raw shots. So I flipped it over to high quality and I can get 64 shots on my 128 gig. So what I'm thinking of is like, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to treat it like a, I mean the whole idea of this was to do it like a film, you know, to replace film. So that's even better. So I, I'm not even going to buy um, an extra bigger, uh, memory card because high quality will give me 60 shots so that's like two rolls of film and super high quality will give me 19 shots so that's like one roll of film <laughs> uh, so yeah that's what I'm thinking Jerry if you tug oh, you naughty girl all right let's talk more when I get home and let's uh, more photos less talking Rob Jerry, what's the matter? What's the matter, Jerry? You don't like the birdie. Where's that little shit? <gasps> you don't like the birdie, Jerry. You get scared. All right, come on, quickly. Yeah, it's Jerry's little bird is trying to attack him. Her again. So I've put it on, you know, JPEG obviously with um, high quality and that's, you know, more than enough resolution. It's more pleasing, it's film, film like, I guess, I don't know. And the colours, they're saying the colours are, yeah, so they're saying that the, the colours are more pleasing and more film like. I read that the noise is good and a lot of um, Astro guys like CCD sensors, I don't know. They're saying that the sensor the, is good for Astro because it's uh, good with noise. I don't know. But anyway, let's just test it out and see what the hell um, this CCD sensor can do. And I want to try and get some colours because I think that's where it'll shine the most. You know, to give you that kind of, you know, Kodak Colour Plus type 
that's what um, I think because Kodak invented this uh, CC I think they call it the Kodak CCD sensor so if Kodak invented it and it's a Kodak sensor then I'll take photos like that hey Jerry yes I know you get scared of the birdie so there's a nice yellow and green Okay, so it came with the 17.5 to 45. That's a weird one. <laughs> I guess that's the 35 millimeter to the 17.5. That I thought they must have must have been thinking to get 35 millimeter. We'll make a 17.5 to 45. So 35 to 90 um, wide angle, and then it also came with the 40 to 150 the kit lens for when the E500 came out so got a bargain fire 200 bucks on Facebook <laughs> Aussie dollars so that's pretty good you know and I can tell why because <laughs> it's still in it's a very good uh, condition it's amazing how far we've come <laughs> yeah we've like started with the EM10 Mark II then I went to the EM1 Mark II now we're on the OM1 and going back to something from 2004, 2005, whatever, it's just amazing how far we've come, really. It's, this thing's a clunker. <laughs> and the buffer rate and, you know, just the... I, get, I think it's because, you know, using a, a, a DSLR, the mirror, as opposed to always been using a mirrorless camera for the last two or three years. That's why I, I like it, um, too, because it's you've got the elements of film, with the old crappy CCD sensor, so it's harping back to the film days. Do you want to go home? It's too hot, Mama. It's like 40 degrees today, so it's approaching 10 o'clock. It's uh, the light is shit, the weather's shit. <laughs> uh, let's just go home, Jerry. <laughs> That's better. I have to get out of that bloody heat. I'll tell you now. Olympus E500. I think in America they call it the E Volt 500. So I think 2005 it came out. Uh, it's a bit of a clunker. It's all plastic with metal, I guess. Uh, it's very solid still for an all plastic um, camera. Now, shooting DSLR. It's been a while since I've shot DSLR because uh, I usually I just shoot it with film. But if you have a look, it's still a micro four third side sensor. Uh, so because the four third sensors and the micro four third sensors are all the same size, what the micro did was to get rid of the mirror. So, but the sensor stayed the same. So if you have a look. I'll show you there. So if you see there, that's the sensor. Now this is a CCD sensor. Now what the hell does that mean? Well before all the current sensors that came out today, which are CMOS sensor, this was a charged charged coupled device as opposed to the CMOS sensor, which is what you get now. I think around 2006, 2005, Everyone moved over to CMOS, which is, what the hell is CMOS? Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. <clears throat> anyway, it's just a new technology, something to do with the way that the, it's, the electricity goes into it. And I don't know, who knows. But now what everyone's saying uh, is that the CCD sensors over the CMOS sensors as that it gives more of a natural um, film look to it so you know it adds a bit more character to each shot uh, the JPEGs now this uh, as far as functionality goes compared to today's standards it's it's an eye-opener <laughs> when I was out there I mean the the burst rate trying to get the bird was like two and a half frames per second um, Forget about RAW, <laughs> I just wanted to use it for JPEG. That's the whole point of it, was to use it for JPEGs. 
um, because I want to get that film look. It's actually a hidden benefit really to shoot in JPEG because I know that I can just go home and you know all I got to do is crop a little bit because sometimes because like with RAW fair enough you, you know you capture as much data as you can but editing sometimes you just want to get away from the computer as much as you can and the beauty of you know just shooting JPEGs lets you do that knowing that you're out there and you're only you know that's the shot you're going to get um, if the highlights are blown out bad luck that's your fault <laughs> it's kind of refreshing to just just be shooting JPEGs so it's nice um, sturdy camera got a good grip um, the buttons are all on this side and this button here was a pain in the ass because I kept hitting it and it kept going to custom white balance and I'd be looking at the menu think what the hell is it doing on custom white balance so I think it's just because I'm used to pressing there but turning it on it comes up with this um, supersonic wave filter which I think was very new to 2006 2005 I think it started in the E300 and that just cleanses the lens you know from dust particles and that it's got uh, 8 megapixels uh, which is um, good enough and uh, yeah I mean everything else is just exactly what you get with normal today's cameras really um, white balance uh, the focusing only has those three dots uh, or those three dots across the ray uh, left right center or auto so that's pretty primitive but I found um, I put it on the center one and I could get right onto the bird's eye pretty good and I found that the whole day I wasn't missing focus at all so for you know nearly um, what's that 16 17 year old camera it's pretty good for autofocus it also shoots TIFF you can put it in TIFF mode and then it's got all these different super quality high, super high quality high quality normal quality JPEGs I didn't know what the hell that was and apparently Olympus had an XD Olympus invented some XD uh, card for, for storing information didn't know what the hell that was I was, I was trying to put the card in there an, S, uh, an SD card in there I like, what the hell <laughs> some XD card that they invented I just have a standard um, compact flash card <laughs> I got the smallest one you could get 100 actually I got even a smaller one I got a 32 megabyte one this is 128 megabyte now you can get 4 gig and the beauty of it with Olympus um, a lot of cameras with these old compact flash cards they only go up to about 4 gig but the, the Olympus for some reason lets you read up to 8 gig I think but you know what I'm not going to upgrade because like I, what I said before <laughs> I'm going to use it like a film camera. That's the whole reason of doing this was to use it like a film camera. It's like the the original super control panel. <laughs> That's where Olympus they haven't really changed much with their super control panel. <laughs> and you can see it's funny shooting in later cameras like the EM1 and the EM10 and then going back to these old DSLRs and it, you can see the history of even when you put it in scene mode remember all those pictures <laughs> the same pictures they carried over you know year after year in scene mode so you can still use the scene mode for it um, but I just shot it in aperture priority and you know uh, it's got a flash uh, just press this button here and pop whoa what happened there so now there's only one wheel that controls everything if you want to put it in manual mode you need to use this button here that button there it's which is the exposure compensation and you hold that down and then you can change the uh, aperture if you let it go you can change the shutter and then in, in the other modes that acts as the exposure compensation so you hold it down and you can change plus stops minus stops it's a pretty cool little camera <laughs> I really enjoyed it um, well not I say little it's quite chunky because the DSLR and that's that sound you get you know with the DSLR and the mirror popping up <laughs> 
yeah, of that DSLR flipping, the mirror flipping up and down. Yeah, it's a cool little sound, cool little retro camera, and 200 bucks bargain. <laughs> I don't know what battery it takes, just comes with the battery. And it also has these um, temporary battery um, adapters where you can put your standard uh, C123. These ones, remember, the, you know, these ones, the standard battery ones, and you can just chuck it in there. You, you a cheeky girl. Ready? Watch. Pop, he's sleeping. I edit, I'm, I slave up there editing all my videos, and you're under here sleeping. Hmm? You cheeky bum. You ready? Flash, raw, pop. <laughs> hey, you little one, Jerry the chicken. Jerry, look, Joya. God, look at the readout. Still going. That's for raw. <laughs> Oi. You turn your back, Jerry. Oi. Ah, oh, Jerry. Oi. <laughs> so the E500 Olympus. It's um, you know, it's a nice little blast from the past. <laughs> Now I'll be using it more, this is just an introduction video to it, just to show you the features and that. Now really, if you if you want a, um, a cheap, you know, good camera that can kind of emulate, you know, the film look and even the film experience with the whole mirror and the DSLR experience, you know, the image quality tends to lean a little bit to the warmer colours, I've noticed. So I'll go on a better photo walk next time with it and test it out, test it out a bit more. This was more of an introduction to it because it was just so hot today. <laughs> I had to cut it short. So yeah, I'll, uh, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll catch you on the next one with my um, Olympus E500.